All right, Alex, you wanted to talk to me about some comics, correct? Uh, yeah, the comics I showed you recently. Um, I have, we talked about um, Loki, Age of Asgore last time, and other kind of feminizing him, yeah. And this time, uh, we actually read the, read the comic. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. I thought that Loki was kind of a sillier, a lighter version. He's kind of like. I guess sort of attempting to be a good guy. More of a guy of mischief than a guy of absolute evil. Which, yeah. I've actually seen that happen in the comics before. He's actually a little less of a dick than I've ever seen him, but he isn't always, like, 100% evil. Yeah, I like, um... I liked it, like, it was very clear they were trying to do that. I do. I also do believe that they are, like, unlike DC, they are, like, trying to, like, um... court the, um, female demographic with this comic. Do you think it's uh, doing it in a good way, though? I mean, I didn't really yeah. hate it. I mean, but so what do you think about this was more focused towards the female demographic? Exactly. Uh, the fact that uh, Loki kind of looks like a... One of the characters you can say he looks one direction. -y. Oh, yeah. He, he's, a, he's a much younger guy. He's also... Uh, there were the, like, the panels of him showering. Yeah, there, it opens with him sh showering full, like, chest, uh, chest up um, shower scene. The only part that I thought that he dipped into near pandering is at one point, and like a joke, he might have suggested that he wrote slash fiction on the internet. But he was kind of making nice with uh, Thor with there. Thor near the end. I'm like, okay, I, I'll <laughs> buy many of this, but I don't buy that the guy that the guy of mischief spends his free time writing fan fiction of any type. <laughs> and he seemed like he really knew how computers worked really well too, which was weird, but yeah. I no, think, it's always been around a while. Yeah, I think he's. I think it was definitely to like try to like because like the ladies love Loki after um, the Avengers movie. And I feel like also they they're really trying to model it after the Avengers because the look of the areas, the rooms, plus the, all the Avengers that they had in the comic. Yeah, were, were the, reflected uh, were in the, the movie. movie Avengers. Which I mean, I guess I wouldn't mind, but I just thought that they're really trying to kind of stretch it like uh, that. I like the fact that the artwork in the book looks a lot better than the artwork on the cover. The artwork on the cover was pretty bad. The artwork on the cover looks straight out of a Yaoi um, manga. Yeah. And the book actually looks a lot better. He's still a really young guy. I still don't get why they gave him short horns. Eh, well, but I, honestly, the humor was pretty good. I, I like it. The humor was pretty good. I, it was interesting reading from Loki's point of view. That's different. Don't know who the hell the old mother is. I'm kind of behind well, all Thor I, stuff, I guess. No, not really. Uh, she's one of those mythological people that kind of comes back. She's not quite but as guardian. But there's like three of them. There's like three. It's kind of like the, uh, what are they, the twins that Emma Frost has? Kind of like a psychic link. Okay. The Cuckoo Twins or whatever. I think they're triplets. Yeah, they are triplets. Right. But uh, the only thing is, uh, towards the end, I'm not really sure where it's going because I think this Yeah, it has a that. really weird ending. I don't want to spoil it for you guys because I actually do like it. Well, it seems like Loki is trying to completely turn over a new leaf. I'll, I'll say this. The reason why Loki is doing it is because he wants to have a better image. He's He's... Like, literally, that's what he's working for. He doesn't really want... He's kind of tired of being the bad guy, basically. Yeah. That's the whole point of it, and that ends on something really weird. Ends on a very strange twist. So if you check it out, you know, it's pretty good, but we're not really sure where it's going. Yeah. And now on to Miss Marvel. The new Miss Marvel. Mm -hmm. um, this book is um, kind of making a step forward in the fact that it has a... Um, female Pakistani uh, a teenage girl. Which I thought was pretty cool. As, and they really uh, yeah. focus a lot on her ethnicity. We meet her family, her traditions. Yeah, it's it's really good. And it's, like, again, it's another really good book. I actually rather liked it. I actually think I liked it one uh, a little more mm -hmm. uh, in terms of, like, I thought it really... I, I didn't think I was going to like this new character, but you really understand her plight. She's yeah. trying to balance being a teenager but dealing with, you know, her parents are kind of smothering her and she wants to actually be a superhero she well, kind of daydreams about it well it, you say her parents are smothering her but it's it's very normal they i think they did a good job like um showing portraying people that? uh yeah portraying the a normal muslim um family in yeah. this one because the dad's like because she's like the the only time i really seen like that was mother and it was like she's like hey i want to go to this party it's like will it be drinking boys there she's like yes he's like are you crazy uh, it's like why are you even asking me that and it was such a very real dad moment it was i like i liked um the book it did like really it was really just character introductions at this point of Basically. like her friends and her family i love <laughs> she has i don't know if he's a brother or uncle but the one of them who is very very typically oh, muslim the guy, guy who's like just praying all the time and the one the dad says and something the dad, like and the dad's like yeah, yeah, that's nice. So we can get a job. <laughs> oh, no, that that was a good line. The one I liked was, you know, if you uh, ever learn to stop praying, you might actually start eating. You know, like, yeah. you got to make time in your day for that. 
Th which I thought was great. I actually really like how they're approaching uh, everything. I, really, I think the hardest, uh, like, it's a, um, a, it's weirder that she lives in New Jersey than in the fact that she's um, a Pakistani. Pakistani Muslim woman in this one, which I really liked. I really liked uh, the characterization. How? I really liked the character well, herself. Let me ask Cause you. Because she's, like, a huge fan of, like, the Avengers. She has, like, she wears a Miss Marvel shirt the entire time, but uh, she has, like, their... their Posters on the wall. Well, let me ask you, sir. Uh, what did you think about her transition to becoming the new Miss Marvel? Because I thought that was uh, this a one has awful. a weird end too. But I saw a solicitation on the next one, so that weird end doesn't stick very long, or at least that's just part of her powers. I hope not. But I just thought that the transition there was a bit odd. Yeah, the one thing I have bad to say is that I don't think this um, comic uses mm -hmm. its. It's length to its um, ability. Like, the comic feels half as long as a normal one when you read it, and not a lot of shit actually happens in it. I don't know. They, they spend a good time establishing the characters, but by the time we actually get to the super hero stuff, the issue's over. Yeah. Like, f since they're introducing a new superhero, I don't think that was their best foot forward, but they did really well. I just... Shit really needs to start happening next one from... I saw, like, a few panels of what the next one's going to be. to see what she does. Apparently shit does start happening rather quickly in the next one, but that's what they need. That is true. They, hopefully they'll hook us with some action soon. The only thing about it I honestly didn't like is I thought that the artistic style was a bit weird. Like, some of the characters' faces were a little strangely angular. I got used to it. The only thing I thought was a little... I thought was a little weird about it was the fact that I couldn't tell how old the uh, main character, Kara? Kara? Kara, I think it was, yeah. I uh, was supposed uh, was supposed to be. I mean, like, said she was sixteen, so I thought I could kind of buy that. Uh, she looked like the youngest person in the comic, though. She looked younger than that to me, but mm, she did. That's yeah, but that's fine because like I mean, she's a late bloomer or something like that. Yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, the comic was really good. I really suggest anyone to read it. If you're trying to get like a sister or a girlfriend into comics, mm. both of these I think would be good ways to start if you're a Marvel fan. Yeah, definitely. If you're a DC fan, you're shit out of luck. Yeah, it's very it's very female friendly. Um, and it works really well at that. Yeah, I and agree. It, and I'm a guy, and I liked it too. So there. yeah, I enjoyed them. They're good. I'm looking forward to the next ones. So a um, couple of new movies on the horizon. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I saw the trailer finally. Uh, looks uh, interesting. I think it's coming out in August. This was, I think, a really like gutsy move for Marvel. Marvel's like, you know, everyone is going to go see the next Avengers movie, so we can pretty much do whatever the hell we want. Basically, let's do Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, it's such an obscure, silly thing, but you know, when I, I brought this up to you, man, and it just continues to baffle me. At this movie, whether regardless of whether or not it actually does well, I mean, hopefully it does do well. No matter what, you cannot tell me that the Justice League or anything DC related, like Wonder Woman, is impossible or too yeah. crazy to pull off. It's like Wonder Woman is like DC's like Wonder Woman's tricky. Marvel's like talking raccoon. I mean, like seriously, guys, it's almost like Marvel's saying, almost encouraging DC at this point. Like, guys, come on. I'm just waiting for. Okay, I heard there are rumors apparently that there's a um, Black Widow movie coming, Hopefully. and people are talking about what's her name, Kay Sackoff, mm -hmm. being um, Carol Danvers, um, uh, Captain Marvel slash Miss Marvel, and doing a movie about that. They do either one of those, DC's screwed because they just stole all the thunder of the Wonder Woman movie. Because like, oh, you know, the first like major superhero woman movie that it should be Wonder suck. Woman. Yeah. It should be Wonder Woman. There, there's a freaking Wonder Woman day, but if Marvel does that, it's like they're gonna kill any like excitement for it. Yeah, they, they, they. That, that's another giant victory on their side. I mean, like Marvel just continues to crush them at the box office. Like, they just know how to organize it. They know what their fans want. They know how to plan these things out. And then how to market their stuff well. And their comics and their movies. And, you know, honestly, the only thing that DC used to have was, thankfully, they had Bruce Timm on their side for their animation. And even now... And he there, left because they were like, oh, we want you to do more New 52 anime their, movies. Their and he's crappy like crappy storylines eh. through their DVD features now. I mean, it's like, I don't even really feel excited about those anymore. It's like, I'm not really that excited about Batman vs. Superman. And all honestly, not after Jesse Eisenberg. Oh. Can we talk about that? <laughs> yeah, Je I mean, I've talked about it a bit, but yeah, Jesse Eisenberg, like... As new Lex Luthor. You know... The from thing, the street, too. He's supposed to be all tattooed and be, like, from a former like, street he's gang. Like, he's like a... Apparently, he wants revenge. He's got a tattoo of, what, the skyscrapers? Uh, he has a tattoo of, like, the skyline of um, Metropolis as, like, a tattooed sleeve on his arm. You know, everybody... Everyone, everyone and their mother was like, Brian Cranston, 
He's big right now. He's a good actor. He's perfect. He kind of looks like Lex Luthor. He looks good bald. Yeah. Cast him. You know what? Cast Kevin Spacey again. Anybody. Cast, um, fuck, cast the guy you did in the cartoon. Smallville. Uh, what was that guy's name? No, um, well, Smallville, yeah, that guy is also really He's old good. enough now, probably. Yeah, but cast the guy who did, who did uh, the voice in the cartoon. Clancy Brown. Clancy Brown. Shake Clancy Brown up and have him in there. Yeah, he's an older guy. Lex Luthor's always been an older guy. Put some guy. makeup on him. He'll be fine. Yeah. You know, like, really. Lex Luthor's always been... Lex Luthor's always been an older guy. He's always been about, like, 50. I'm right? not going I have a hard time buying the fact that, um, fucking, um, Batman's older than Lex Luthor. And, and how young, freaking, Superman and Jesse Eisenberg is, like, what, 20? 25? Actually, he's supposed to be the same age as, um... Batman? No, as, um... Superman? The dude who plays Superman. Which is fine, but you can't play that age. No. No, we cannot. It's like, so, we got that to look forward to. But, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that as much as I'm looking through, forward to all the Marvel movies. Yes. I'm really looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm really looking forward to Amazing Spider-Man 2. I'm really looking forward to, um, Captain America 2. What about Ant-Man? I'm Rudd. looking more uh, more towards that one than... Um, Man and Superman? Yeah. You know who's directing it, right? Yeah. The director of the Blood and Ice Cream trilogy. Really? Mm-hmm. So you know it's going to be more of a comedy. Well, that makes sense. He's Ant-Man. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to do like his very first appearance in the comic where, where he, he was fights just fighting ants. ants. That'd be it's great. It's like, oh my god, it's shrunk. Oh, oh no, I'm being attacked by ants. Well, I mean, you've got a director that primarily does comedies and an actor who's primarily in comedy, so it's probably going to be a more fun movie. But that's fine. If they can that's make, fine. You know what? The cool thing about it is they have managed to make people cool that have never been cool. Hawkeye, he was never really that cool beforehand. Iron Man. Hell, oh. no one no you one know, outside well, of comics really knew who Iron Man was. Now, he's the, now like, he's the... um. Flagship of Marvel. Marvel. Even more so than Spider Man in yeah. some ways. He really is. Uh, they're doing a new X Men movie that I cannot fucking you know, wait for. A actually, something really cool. They have a. I noticed something. In like pretty much every Marvel movie, whether it was the Sony or the Fox ones or even the Marvel Studios ones, they've adapted elements from comics. This is the first time they're actually really straight up translating a major comic book storyline from the comics. Uh, Days of Future Past. It's like one, probably the biggest X Men story, and they're actually putting it on screen. So it's pretty awesome. You could argue they kind of did that with the Avengers. They kind of did, but it wasn't exact. Uh, but yep. Yeah. I haven't heard about a new Incredible Hulk movie, but that would be fucking amazing. I think everyone would would want to see um, Ruffalo play um, Bruce yeah. Banner in his own Incredible I'd like Hulk to see movie. Him get to stretch just things have, out. Yeah, just have him fight Banner. Uh, just have him fight um, the, uh, leader. the leader. Just have the leader with like the absorbing man as his henchman. Have him do something bad, and the whole cast stopped them. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Everyone will love it. Black Widow movie. Everyone will love. Ah, uh, I was thinking about this earlier. Okay, what? she w first appeared in an Iron Man movie. Then yeah. she was in Avengers. Now she's gonna be in a Captain America movie. Yeah. She's gonna be in her own movie. Then she just has to be in a Hulk and Thor movie. <laughs> and she'll be in every movie. Then she'll be in every movie. I think that'd be awesome. Give Samuel L. Jackson a break. Yeah. So. What do you think about... Uh, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> I guess another comic book movie coming up is 302. Yeah, I guess that's technically one. Uh, I don't know. I think that one looks interesting. I like the fact it's focusing on Xerxes. I always liked him. Mm -hmm. You know? So it's pretty cool. I, love, I even know, like, um, a 300... Uh, like, 302. What's that going to be about? All of Greece going to kill Xerxes. I'm like... Okay. Yeah, hey, man. That, I am cool with that concept. That, that's pretty cool. It's like the 300. How about the 300,000? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that. Like, good, bad, or otherwise, I want, still want to see it. I think it'll be enjoyable, if it's anything like the previous one. Definitely. Hmm. Godzilla, man. Godzilla. Godzilla's going to be epic. When's that coming out? May. May. May 14th, man. Wow, that comes, that's coming a lot sooner than And the, the cool thing about it is they've been keeping that movie basically a secret. The trailers are not showing you very much, but they got a great director. They got I know a great there's going to be three monsters in it. There's three monsters, and Toho's directly involved. Do you with know it. which three monsters? Are they, 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 are, they are keeping it secret. They, which they don't know if it's going to be originals that are homages or new monsters, but basically nice. what, the plot of it's basically going to be Godzilla starts off as a threat, and by the end he will be kind of a hero. They're planning sequels. Awesome. So, I mean, we might finally get a decent American Godzilla movie. Awesome. I'm really looking forward to that one, too. And you know what? Guillermo del Toro said that if the Godzilla movie does well and they'll have him, he would love to do a crossover with Pacific Rim. I didn't know how that worked, but I want to see it. <laughs> That's what he said. He's like, hey. Yeah. Godzilla versus the Yeah, yeah. 
It's like it's like having Jaeger come down and fight Godzilla. I was like, it's like, wait, well, how is this working? Who cares? Just do it. <laughs> like the rift reopens and Godzilla comes out of it. Uh, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, I, I'm not sure if it's going to happen, but you have to admit, it'd be a pretty cool idea. That would be pretty cool. Do you think we're ever going to get a second Dread movie? Uh, I believe so. Like, it did really well on DVD, so it just might take longer, but I would love to see it. I know everyone who saw the first one would love to see it. For sure. I mean, it did well in England, if I remember correctly. It really did well in England. It didn't do as well in theaters in the U.S. just because people just didn't have faith in it, but I saw that shit in the theaters in 3D, and it was glorious. And you hate 3D normally. I hate 3D normally, but that was the best movie I've ever seen in 3D. It was really nice, yeah. And I heard it on DVD. It's a excellent fucking uh, movie and I heard that the um uh this just remembers I heard that the first sequel would be adapting a storyline where the judges have to have to like drive a um cure from like a plague mm -hmm. from Mega City 1 to like I think it's Mega City 2 but the one on the <laughs> go California across, basically go across the cursed earth yeah go across the cursed earth and take it to like California basically I mean that would be pretty awesome that would be awesome because all the shit they well, fight on the way there that would be really cool if they expanded on it because the one issue I kind of have with the Dread movie is that it was kind of very simple like it didn't really expand on all the stuff that actually happens in Judge Dread you know yeah but they use that to their strength they did I mean they made it work but we could have had more I would definitely want more and it, hopefully we'll get more um, yeah, man. I, I'm excited for that, for sure, if it happens. Oh, uh, well. Um, trying to think of other comic books, uh, stuff we can talk about. Did we mention how much a Hulk Agents of Smash sucks? Uh, we talked about that a while ago. Yeah, Hulk Agents of Smash sucks. Is that even still going on? Yeah, I think it is. All of the new Marvel ones suck. Like, that one sucks. Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man sucks. The new... Avengers Initiative sucks uh, yeah. because they're all in the same universe and everything in that universe it's currently campy, sucks. Yeah, that that really. And they and, and they canceled fucking um, Avengers vs. Minus Heroes for oh. that. Avengers vs. Minus Heroes was awesome. Is Beware the Batman gonna get another season? And I don't think so. Like I haven't seen it since then. Apparently they're going to finish it in like two episodes, but Beware the Bat. I kind of like that show, but I thought it really, was decent. If Anarchy is your main villain for a season. Well, I'm not really surprised. Well, I heard that uh, they were going to start introducing other villains the next season. <laughs> Apparently, they didn't do that shit fast enough. Like, I get the idea they're trying to showcase the lesser known villains. You liked it a lot, if I remember correctly. I liked it a lot, but the, I'm not the mainstream audience. That's true. You want people that actually want to see the Joker. And these are all, you got to remember, it's also marketed towards like 10 year old kids that might not so know like, much about it. Who the hell is that. this guy? The pig guy. Yeah, the, it's like, it's. Professor Pig. Oh, we're out of battery, people, so I guess we gotta... Wrap it up, I guess. Wrap it up, I guess. So... More comic book discussions later, and comment, let us know what you think about some of these issues, guys. Yeah, this is uh, Merlin the Mighty and the Troll. All right, man. Otherwise known as um, Joe, Joe and Alex. Alex. So, yeah, man. Uh, thanks for talking with me again, and uh, right. let's do this again sometime. Sure thing. Awesome.